Reverb. According to Merriam-Webster, it's an electronically produced echo effect in recorded music. Well, to us creators, it's a little more than that. Say, for example, we are in the studio. You just recorded a great vocal. Now you want a musical ambience around that. You want space. You want that word or that you sing or you want that word that you say. You want it to extend out in a musical way with space around it. That's what reverb is to us creators. I know that you really like when I lay it down. I know you're going to stay the night when you drop that back down. We can do another round. Take another shot of brown. Now we can go to town. Now we can go to town. We are going in circles. Look what we worked for. Why are we playing? We been playing this way too long. Feelings are just too strong. Why are we playing on? Cause baby, I wanna be with you. Cause baby, cause tonight, I wanna play, yeah. You guys are hearing the mechanical nuances of a steel plate, transducers, and dampers. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to my home studio. I am Archie Beats, and I am here to help. And today, we are reviewing the Pure Play Reverb plugin from Universal Audio Spark. Let's get to it. So, first thing first, UAD Spark Pure Plate Reverb. It is a reverb, a plate reverb, that you can run natively on your Mac computer. So you have two options. You can purchase it if you want to run it on your satellite or you want to run it on your Apollo. You can purchase it for $149 or you can subscribe to the natively ran plugin collection from Universal Audio called Spark and you pay $19.99 a month for it. So you get this reverb along with other plugins. Now, what is the Pure Plate Reverb? It is Universal Audio's revolutionary plate reverb emulation. It's very simple and it's very affordable. Like I said, you can purchase it for $149 or you can get it um, natively, which is um, $19.99 a month. And it has all the essentials. As you guys heard my vocals in the beginning of the video, it created that musical and deep organic sound of the classic effect of a plate reverb. And of course, I wanted that warm vintage sound and that provided it as well. As you guys can see, it's easy to operate the user interface. We will go over that later in this video. It is definitely a very easy, understandable reverb to use. And I hope you guys find value in this video. So let's jump to it. My latest single, I haven't produced music and put music out in so long because I've been so focused on creating great videos on YouTube for you guys, but I am back. I produced it. I wrote it, of course I'm singing on it. I learned to talk box for a month just to embody the old school feel. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to go with the Pure Plate Reverb from Universal Audio Spark. I always go with something from Universal Audio is because it's just good stuff. But when Spark dropped, I was like, you know what? Since I'm working on music, let's go ahead and print some real stuff to take. So the point of the Pure Plate Reverb is I wanted to capture that like a vintage plate reverb with the vocals. And that's the point of the song as well. I want it to feel nostalgic and vintage, but I want it to sound modern. So sounding and feeling is can be different, but when you can come to a mutual place in between, hey, you get a product like this. So basically, let's talk about the UI of it. Of course, you see your VU meter here. You have your low cut here and your pre-delay here. I have all of that turned down, and my reverb time is right there at three, as you guys can see it's sitting there. You can change that with plus and minus right there. And my bass is at zero, but the treble, I want it to be a little bright, and we ended up with a great sound. And of course, I got it centered right here with the balance and in the middle. Mix, we got it cranked up because what we are doing is this is the only reverb that we're using over the entire song and you guys see wet solo is on the power is on of course it's a really simple um, UI user interface so we bust over we auxiliary over to the actual reverb track here that you guys can see like I said it's the only reverb we use on all the verses the leads and I got auxiliaries going over to the aux track of the reverb and as you guys can see the session is pretty simple and I like to bring all my instruments in as well. The pure plate reverb just sound organic and warm on the vocals that gives it that feel. So let me dial into the lead vocal real quick. Denzel, I'ma leave with something. Oh, yeah. Baby, you feeling me up? 
A whole meal that's enough. So here it is without the plate reverb. Baby, your body is saying something. All that low end, I can see it thumping. Denzel, I'ma leave with something. Oh, yeah. Baby, you feeling me up? A whole meal that's enough. No cap, now we up. With it. I know that you really like when I lay it down. I know you. The resonance is just so, oh my. It's nice, warm, silky, analog, classic, and it just gives it that um. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering why, what is a plate reverb? Well, what's happening is you guys are hearing the mechanical nuances of a steel plate, transducers, and dampers. This plugin works on not just vocals, but it works on guitars. You know, I've used it on strings already, and uh, with some of with the guys, it just embodies that nice feeling. This is a great emulator of pure plate reverb that is just is irreplaceable so if you guys have any questions about my vocal arrangements any questions about my music production any questions about the uad spark pure plate reverb please comment them below i am a creator and a musician and a singer first don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram at archie beats don't forget to be great and create this is your bar beats and i am signing off mm -hmm.